Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise this morning, our Lord and our God. We thank you, Lord, for your merciful and ever kind, O Lord. We thank you for your greatness toward us. We thank you for your kindness toward us, Lord, this morning. We thank you, Lord, for your love that endures forever. Thank you, Father, Lord, our Lord and our God. We bless your name, eternal rock of ages. We thank you. Thank you, Lord, for you command the rain and the lightning with your voice, O Lord. Thank you, mighty Father, Lord, because, Lord, you are the source of all wisdom. Lord, we magnify your name this morning. We say hallelujah to the Lord God Almighty. We bless your name, Lord, because we know that you have new things for us today, O Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord, because you know every star by name and you put them in their place, O Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord, because you are mightier than the noise of many waters, O Lord. Father, Lord, we thank you this morning for your fire is unquenchable your light is unapproachable lord we thank you father for your angels they are innumerable lord we thank you father thank you father lord thank you for that lord because you are the unchangeable god oh father we thank you you are worthy of all praise this morning father we say thank you for your unfailing love we thank you lord for your unchanging truth lord we thank you for your unrelenting affection that you have for us oh lord and we thank you for your uncompromising promises oh lord that father lord your word they are here and amen thank you father blessed be to your name oh lord for your power is glorious oh lord we thank you for your loving kindness is better than life and your tender mercy father oh gracious father we just want to bless your name this morning that we can come to the true room oh lord to obtain mercy and grace oh lord oh lord we thank you and we know that your mercy is great your love for us is great a new mercy we receive every day as we come blessed be to your name thank you father lord for what you have in store for us today in the mighty name of jesus christ let us pray that lord whatever be in my life that will hinder me to receive the blessing of today gracious father lord i pray that you will forgive me any sin any omission any commission any iniquity oh gracious father lord i ask that you will forgive me this morning father any disobedience that i've displayed oh lord or any act of you know of immaturity that i've shown to the others so oh lord i pray that father you will forgive me this morning lord god almighty and i pray lord that you help me to forgive those who are hold me also lord that father anyone i need to forgive whether anyone that have cheated upon me anyone that have disappointed me anyone that have said anything negatively about me that i need to forgive lord this morning i ask lord give me the grace to forgive them oh lord I ask for your Lord, the grace, O oh Lord, abundant grace, O oh Lord, to forgive this morning so that I too can forgive, O oh Lord, because you say forgive those who are who hold you so that we too can receive forgiveness. So, Father Lord, this morning, I ask that you wash me clean with the blood of Jesus Christ. Let us thank the Lord for the provision and the benefit that we have in the blood of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, I thank you for the benefit and provision of the blood of Jesus Christ, because the word of God say that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. And we love not even our life unto death. Father, Lord, I thank you this morning for the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. I stand on the ground of the blood of Jesus to proclaim victory over sin, over Satan and his agents. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I stand this morning on the ground of the blood of Jesus Christ to proclaim victory over sin, over Satan and his agents. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for victory is mine. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, I apply the blood of Jesus to every stubborn problem in my life in the name of jesus the word of god say they overcome by the blood of the lamp this morning i apply the blood of jesus to every stubborn problem in my life in the life of my children in the life of every member of my
my house so this morning. I apply the blood of Jesus Christ because victory is ours. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, through the blood of Jesus Christ, we have received redemption this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, I sprinkle the blood of Jesus upon my body. From the top of my head to the sole of my feet, I sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus upon my children's body. From the top of their head to the sole of their feet this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. I soak my life in the blood of Jesus Christ. I soak my life in the blood of Jesus. I soak my children's life in the blood of Jesus. I soak my grandchildren's life in the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, amen. I paralyze all satanic oppressors delegated against me with the blood of Jesus Christ. I paralyze all satanic oppressors delegated against me with the blood of Jesus Christ. I paralyze you in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I hold the blood of Jesus against any power. That is already poised to resist me in this prayer this morning. I hold the blood of Jesus Christ against you in the name of Jesus. I hold the blood of Jesus as a shield against any power that is already poised to resist me. I hold the blood of Jesus Christ against you in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. By the blood of Jesus, I stand against every device of destruction in the name of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus, I stand against against every device of destruction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I stand against every device of destruction by the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 37 verse 40 says this, And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Whom do you trust this morning? If it's the Lord, God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, he said this in his word, and the Lord, Jehovah God, shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Trust in the Lord this morning. As you pray, believe that he hears us and he will answer. He will make it good. Therefore, <clears throat> let us pray <clears throat> that that <clears throat> excuse me that which hinders me from greatness give begin to give way now in the name of Jesus Christ because this morning the promise of God is that the Lord shall help them the Lord shall help me and deliver me he shall deliver me from the wicked and save me because I trust in the Lord Psalm 37 verse 40 declare it this morning therefore that which hinders me from greatness begin to give way now in the name of Jesus Christ that which hinders me from greatness begin to give way now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ because the word of God this morning is the Lord shall help me. The Lord shall deliver me. He shall deliver me from the wicked and save me because I trust in him. Therefore that which hinders me, that which hinders my children, begin to give way now. Begin to give way now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because at the name of Jesus every name must bow. Therefore in the name of Jesus Christ any power, any way, any principality, any dominion, any authority that wants to hinder me from greatness that want to hinder me from the plan of God this morning in the name of Jesus Christ give way give way in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen every imprisoned and very potential comfort in the name of Jesus Christ in the life of my children in my own life in my ministry in my career in my business every imprisoned and very potential comfort comfort in the name of Jesus Christ do you hear the word of the Lord this morning the word of God say that the Lord shall help me the Lord shall deliver me and he shall deliver me from the wicked and save me because I trust in him in the name of Jesus therefore every imprisoned and very potential potential comfort now 
come forth in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command all unfriendly helpers in every area of my life to depart. Depart in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ because the word of God has promised this glory. The Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Therefore, every unfriendly helpers in any area of my life, in any area of my children's life, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, hear the word of the Lord. Depart. Depart in the name of Jesus Christ because the Lord shall help us this morning. The Lord shall deliver us this morning because we trust in the Lord. The Lord shall save us from the wicked. Therefore, every unfriendly helpers in every area of my life, in every area of my children's life, hear the word of the Lord. Depart. Depart in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, my Father. Let your angels begin to chase them away. In the name of Jesus, every unfriendly helpers in any area of my life, in any area of my children's life, the word of God to you today is depart. Depart. Pack your load and go. In Jesus' name, amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I render null and void. The effect of any interaction with satanic agents moving around as men and women in the name of Jesus Christ. If the Lord open your eyes, my brothers and sisters, you will know that some of the people will think they are, they are, they are human beings. They are not. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I render null and void the effects of any interaction with satanic agents moving around as men and women in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the power and the blood of Jesus because we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony money this morning. I render null and void the effect of any interaction with satanic agents moving around as men and women in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God say, and the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him, because we trust in the Lord this morning. Therefore, we render null and void the effect of any interaction with satanic agents moving around as men and women in the name of Jesus, in the in our life, in our children's life, in our grandchildren's life, in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever they are, that they are affecting us this morning, we render it null and void. In Jesus' name, amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, because the Lord will help me this morning, the Lord will save me this morning, I, in the name of Jesus, I put down the stronghold of evil strangers in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the strangers can be sickness, the strangers can be anything, it can be, you know, it can be frustration. It can be anything. Anything that is strange into my life, into my children's life this morning. I put down the stronghold of evil strangers in every area of my life, in every area of my children's life. I pull you down. I pull you down. I pull you down. In the name of Jesus Christ, I put down the stronghold of evil strangers in every area of my life. I pull you down. I pull you down this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. If all it is written in Psalm 37 verse 40 and the Lord shall help them and deliver them he shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in, in him therefore in the name of Jesus any negative transaction currently affecting my life negatively be cancelled be cancelled by the blood of Jesus any negative transaction currently affecting my life negatively be cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ be cancelled any negative transaction currently affecting my children's life negatively in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be cancelled be cancelled be cancelled because we stand on the authority of the word of God this morning the word of God to us this morning is that the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him and because we have come into the throne room of God this morning to obtain mercy, to obtain grace, to obtain help. The Lord will help us this morning. Therefore, any negative transaction currently in affecting my life, currently in affecting my children's life negatively, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be counsel, be counsel, for the Lord will help us this morning. The Lord will deliver us this morning. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. Therefore, every negative, any negative transaction correctly affecting my children's life, affecting my grandchildren's life, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be canceled by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be canceled. Be canceled in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I command all the dark work done against me in secret to be exposed and be nullified in the name of Jesus Christ. I command all the dark works done against me in secret to be exposed and be nullified by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ because the Lord has promised this morning the Lord shall help me. The Lord shall deliver me from the wicked and save me. Therefore I command all the dark works done against me, against my children, against my family, against my marriage, against my career, against my ministry, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be exposed and be nullified. Be exposed and be nullified by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Be exposed and be nullified in the name of Jesus. All the dark was done against me, against my family. In secret, be exposed and be nullified in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I lose myself. From any dark spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lose myself, I lose my children, my grandchildren, my son-in-law, my daughter-in-law. From any dark spirit, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, because the Lord is ready, the Lord has promised, He will deliver us. He will deliver us from the wicked and save us this morning because we put our trust in Him. Therefore, I lose myself and every member of my household from any dark spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, and I hold the blood of Jesus against such spirit in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen oh lord my father let all incantations against me be nullified by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, because you are promising your word this morning that you will deliver, that you will save, that you will deliver you from deliver us from the wicked. So, Father Lord, let all incantations against me, against my household, be cancelled, be cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, let all incantations against me, against my family, be cancelled, be cancelled by the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command all oppressors to retreat and flee in defeat this moment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because the word of God has gone out this morning that the Lord shall help them and deliver them he shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him therefore I command all oppressors to retreat and flee in defeat this moment in the name of Jesus Christ any oppressor in the life of anyone at the sound of my voice this morning hear the word of the Lord I command you in the name of the the Lord Jesus Christ retreat and flee in defeat and the name of Jesus Christ retreat and flee in defeat in the name of Jesus any oppressors in the life of anyone on this prayer room this morning I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you have no power to stay we have already you are get the promise this morning that whatever we shall bind you on earth will be bound in heaven therefore I command you oppressors in any form in any shape in the life of my brothers and my sister this morning I command you to retreat and flee in defeat in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I bind every strong man having my goods in his possession. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I bind every strong man having my goods, having my children's goods in his possession. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ because the Lord Jesus Christ said before you can take anything from the strong man, you are first of all asked to bind and the strong man, then you will take your possession. This morning, according to the word of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bind every strong man having any goods that belong to me in his possession. I bind you and I recover everything that you have taken from me. Everything that you have taken from my children, I recover in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Because the Lord will help me. Because the Lord will, will, will deliver me and save me this morning. I break the curse of automatic 
automatic failure working upon my life i break it in jesus name i break it by the power in the blood of jesus by the authority in the word of god i break the cause of automatic failure working upon my life working upon my children's life in this family i break it in jesus name i break it in the name of jesus christ every cause of automatic failure working upon my life upon my children's life i break you in the mighty name of jesus christ in jesus name amen oh lord my father the psalmist say that you anoint my head and you fill my cup it run over lord god divine let the anointing to prosper follow mightily upon me now in the name of jesus oh lord my father you are the only one that can anoint my head oh sorry father lord let the anointing to prosper fall mightily upon me upon my children in the name of jesus father lord the anointing to prosper in body soul and spirit let it fall upon me let it fall upon my children in the name of jesus the anointing to prosper both soul spirit body lord let it fall upon us now in the name of jesus christ anoint it to prosper in the body in soul in spirit lord let it fall upon us let it fall upon us in the mighty name of jesus christ in jesus name amen let every anti-progress altar fashion against me be destroyed with the fire of god in the name of the lord jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus standing on the authority of the word of god this morning that promise that the lord shall help them the Lord shall deliver them and save them from the wicked. Therefore, let every anti-progress altar fashion against me, against my children, against my family be destroyed. With the fire of God, be destroyed. Be destroyed with the fire of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let every anti-progress altar fashion against me, against my family be destroyed. Lord, I cry unto you this morning. Let every anti-progress altar fashion against me, against Against my family be destroyed with the fire of God in Jesus name amen amen because the Lord has promised this morning therefore I command my destiny to begin to change to the better in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus my destiny do you hear the word of the Lord this morning the word of the Lord to you this morning is the Lord the Lord shall help them and deliver them he shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him they for you my destiny begin to change to the better in the name of jesus christ you my children destiny begin to change to the better in the name of jesus christ because the lord will help us the lord will help us my grandchildren be destiny begin to change to the better my son-in-law my daughter-in-law destinies begin to change to the better because the word of god to us tomorrow is the lord will help us the lord will deliver us the lord will save us from the wicked because we trust in him therefore you my destiny you my children destiny you my grandchildren destiny my son-in-law my daughter-in-law my spouse pray this morning you my destiny begin to change to the better in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen oh lord my father let my hand become the sword of fire to cut down demonic trees in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, let my hand become the sword of fire to cut down demonic trees in the name of Jesus. Any demonic tree that is that has been planted in my family, in my household. Father, Lord, let my hand become the sword of fire to cut down demonic trees in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, let my hands become the sword of fire to cut down demonic trees in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen amen hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord this morning let us go to the word of god this morning and we're going to read from judges we're going to read from judges chapter six and we'll just read verse two it said that same night I'm reading from verse 25 and through 26. That same night, the Lord said to him, Take the second bowl from your father's earth, the one seven years old. Tear down your father's altar to bow and cut down the Asherah pole beside it. 
Then build a proper kind of altar to the Lord your God on top of this height, using the wood of the Asherah pole that you cut down. Offer the second bowl as a burnt offering. If we are familiar with this story, it's about Gideon. You know what the Midianites has been doing to them? That the things went so bad that uh, to press the grain, they have to go to the underground to be doing whatever they're doing. It was so terrible, you know. And the angel appeared to Gideon and said, you mighty man of warrior. And he said, oh, me? No, I'm not. But God has an assignment for him. And he said, you must do something. And you begin with your father's house. You are going to uproot the altar of your father's house. My brothers and my sisters, you are a Christian. Yes. And the Lord said, you are a mighty man of warrior. But you must destroy the altar of your father's house. You must destroy it. After God called Gideon to be Israelite's deliverer, he immediately asked him to tear down the altar of the pagan god that is Baal, an act that would test Gideon's faith and commitment. Uh, the Canaanite religion was very political, so an attack on a god was often seen as an attack on the local government supporting that god. If caught, Gideon will face serious social problems and probably physical attack. And we know what actually happened. Gideon took a great risk by following God's higher law, which specifically forbid idol worship. After learning what Gideon had done, the townspeople wanted to kill him. Many of those people were fellow Israelites. This shows how immoral God's people had become. God already said in Deuteronomy, you know, 13 verses 11, that idolaters must be stoned to death. But these Israelites wanted to stone Gideon for tearing down an idol and worshiping God. See? This is the message there. When you begin to accomplish something for God, you may be criticized by the very people who should support you. So, do not let that be discouragement. Do not let that hold you back in doing what God asks you to do. You know, your own very people that support supposed to support you why would that be because they're not you know god has not appeared to them then in the first place so you must recognize that you are the one that get the vision they are the one that get the calling you are the one that the mission was given to so they may not support you they may not support you but do you know that is where you know, in our Christian journey, if you want to achieve anything in your life, you must first of all destroy the altar of your father's house. Without a shadow of that, the most difficult fight you will ever face in your life with idols and evil altars in your bloodline is when you allow the Lord Jesus Christ to tear down the evil lot of your father's house, to dethrone the idol, the demon God that sits on it. So we must be one. This morning, we're going to take the altar of our father's house to the courtroom of God and to get the, 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 the injunction against that altar. And then we will come back, not today, but to destroy it because time will not permit us. I don't want us to rush it. But I want to warn us, if you are fearful, you can log out. If you do not want to do that. 
But you see, that is where our problems lies. The fact that the idol, the family, and evil water of your father's house were planted in the family bloodline by your forefathers ever before you were done. And this, in most part, were men and women in position of authority over the family bloodline. So, consequently, the decision they made over the family became legally binding in the realm of the spirit. And they are therefore recognized in the court of heaven. See, deceived by the devil, many of us and many of our forefathers willingly opened the door of the family bloodline to the idol. We know, if you know your story, So, and this altar have been firmly planted in your generation bloodline. Gideon could not move forward into his God-given destiny as a deliverer of Israel until he dealt held on with the altar of Baal, which was in his father's house. You have to do the same thing. If you want to move on in life, they will allow you to achieve something. They may be waiting for your third generation. No. After you have gone, you think you have achieved something. If you do not destroy this altar. Yes, you have become a Christian. You have been born again. Do the kinds, you know, have all the everything. If you know the evil of the family, the evil of our father's house. Because you are not there when they made this covenant. But the demons they made the covenant with, you know, since they have not been judged or, you know, so they can still exercise their legal rights. That is why they are fighting you. That is why you will see sometimes you'll be dreaming of seeing a masquerade or something pursuing you. That is the evil altar from your father's house. And they will make sure your breakthrough is about to come. No, they will make sure you don't get it because of the covenant of which you do not know. And you have to break it. You have to break it. You have to. Yes, you have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. But there's something you need to do. You have to separate yourself. You have to renounce this altar. And you do not participate in it but say okay i'm not going to they want to do this festival oh um, no i'm not going to be part of it but i can give them the money since they didn't need money and i don't want to offend them hmm. you are participating do not be deceived you are participating you have to destroy the evil altar of their father's house so next week because tomorrow we're not going to do and um, tomorrow is the physician hour and by monday we will pray on the on the evil altar of family's house but today we're going to go to the court and get a restraining order even just getting this restraining order be one if you are sensitive if you are discerning they will begin to attack you to question you but do not be afraid okay do not be afraid. Fears as you know, in the rose, too much. Enough is enough. Do not be afraid. That is what Christ for. Christ came to set the captive free. See, if you if you do not want to be free, will you please, for the sake of the children that are coming after you, if you have any children now, your grandchildren, will you please fight for them? If you are okay now with yourself. You think, no, I don't have problem with my family. Yes, they mean no. They will just look, overlook you. They are waiting for those coming behind you. So destroy that altar. Not just for yourself, but for the sake of those who are coming behind you. Destroy them. Destroy the altar. Those who are coming may not have the faith that you have now. And what they will do, because they will not, they are not able to do anything with you they will do double seven times over them so if you love your family if you love you have the love of god in your heart pray that god 
will intervene and destroy. And you too begin to separate yourself. Do not compromise. That is where we are this day, even as a nation. Because we have not allowed God to be fully God. We have not surrendered everything to God. And when the Lord help us this morning. So let us go to the Lord this morning and destroy the altar of our Father's house. If you are afraid, you can log out. Let us pray. And I will be reading it. For those of us joining us for the first time, I will say it slowly so that you can repeat it. And I will post it on, on the YouTube. You can you know, go back and listen to it as well. Heavenly Father, holy is your name and greatly to be praised. I worship and I adore you in the name of Jesus. May your kingdom manifest in my life as it is in heaven. Plead my cause, O Lord, and with those who strive with me, fight against any entity or institution or organization who is contending against me. Heavenly Father, it is written in Psalm 27 verse 6, And now my head will be lifted up above my enemies around me. In its tent, I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Father, I enjoy my worship to the heavenly chorus of worship of your holy angels and the crowd of witnesses in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, righteous judge, I ask that the courts of heaven be seated according to Daniel 7 verses 9 and 10. I ask this in the name of Jesus. It is written, kept looking until thrones were set up and the ancient of this took his seat his garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like pure wool his throne was flames of fire his wheels were burning fire a river of fire was flowing and coming out from before him a thousand thousands were attending him, and ten thousand tens, ten thousands were standing before him. The court was seated, and the books were open. Heavenly Father, I am requesting the privilege of standing before the courtroom of the ancient of days, according to what was revealed to the prophet Daniel. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Father, I stand in your courtroom because of the blood and finished work of Jesus on the cross. I have come to receive your righteous judgment over my life against the spirit and altar of my father's house that Satan planted in my generational bloodline. Heavenly Father, I call upon your holy angels to be witnesses to my lawsuit and righteous prosecution of the evil altar of my father's house. I decree and declare that this evil altar of my father's house will not kill me or my family members before our appointed time neither will it destroy my ability 
to live a peaceful and prosperous life here on earth. In Jesus' name I pray. Father, your word in 1 John chapter 2, verse 1 and 2 says, My little children, these things I write to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous, and he himself is the propitiation for our sins, and not for us only, but also for the whole world. I thank you that Jesus is my faithful advocate before the righteous judge in the court of heaven. Lord Jesus, I surrender my rights to self-representation, and I summon you as my advocate to help me plead my case before the righteous judge and prosecute the evil altar of my father's house that Satan planted in my bloodline. I also ask the blessed Holy Spirit, who is the highest officer of the courts of heaven here on earth, to make me sensitive to the proceedings of this court in order to successfully prosecute the altar of my father's house in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, even as I stand in your court, I present myself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable before you, according to Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Heavenly Father, righteous judge, I summon the altar of my father's house in my bloodline and the idol that sits on it to appear in your royal courtroom to face prosecution in the name of Jesus. For it is written in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 3, Do you not know that we believers, we judge angels, how much more then as to matters of this life? Heavenly Father, I exercise my God-given authority in Christ Jesus to judge demons and principalities in the name of Jesus. Righteous judge, it is also written in 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that it might destroy the works of the devil. Heavenly Father, I know that until the end of the age of sin, Satan still has legal access to the courts of heaven to level accusation against the children of men. For it is written in the book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 10 that then I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ has come for the accuser of our brothers and sisters have been thrown down. He who accuses them and keeps bringing charges against them before our God day and night. Heavenly Father, the Lord Jesus Christ also said in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 25, that come to terms quickly with your opponent at law while you are with him on the way, so that your opponent does not hand you over to the judge, and the judge to the guard, and you are thrown into prison. Heavenly Father, in all humility, while renouncing the spirit of pride, I choose to quickly agree with the legal accusation of my adversary, Satan. Righteous judge, every accusation that Satan has filed against me and my bloodline in this court is true. Father, I repent for my personal transgressions and for the sins and iniquities of my forefathers that opened the door for the spirit and altar of my father's house to oppress my life, 
In the name of Jesus, I pray. Lord, every sin of my forefathers that the enemy is using as a legal right to build cases against me and to deny me my destiny, I ask that the blood of Jesus will wash them away. I also repent for self-inflicted word curses and all covenants with demons that have existed in my ancestral bloodline. I am asking that every covenant with demonic powers connected to the evil altar of my father's house will now be revoked and that their right to claim me and my bloodline will now be dismissed before your court in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for revoking this demonic covenant and evil altar in the name of Jesus. Father, in my heartfelt desire to divorce myself from the spirit and altar of my father's house, I give back everything and anything that the devil will say came from his kingdom. I only want what the blood of Jesus has secured for me. Lord Jesus, thank you for cleansing me by your blood. So Satan has no legal footing against me in your courtroom. For it is written in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, if we admit that we have sinned and confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and we forgive our sins and cleanse us continually from all unrighteousness. Righteous judge, I appeal to the blood of Jesus to wipe out all my shortcomings, my transgressions, and iniquities. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I receive by faith the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, based upon Jesus' finished work and my heartfelt repentance, I now move on the court of heaven to dismiss all of Satan's accusations and charges against me and my bloodline in the name of Jesus. For it is written that the accuser of the brethren has been cast down. So I ask you, Father, to cast down all of Satan's accusation against me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Father, I ask you that you send high-ranking angelic officers of the courts who excel in strength to execute the judgment of your Supreme Court and destroy the evil altar of my father's house and the idol that sits on it that Satan planted in my bloodline. In the name of Jesus, I pray. By the spirit of prophecy, I prophesy the complete destruction of the evil altar of my father's house in my life, in my family, in the name of Jesus. For it is written in Psalm 91, verses 11 and 12, that for he will command his angels in regard to you to protect and defend and guide you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you do not strike your foot against a stone. I receive angelic assistance right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, I present before your God the following scriptures as my solid evidence against the spirit and altar of my father's house in my life. It is written in 1 Kings chapter 18 verse 30 that then Elijah said to all the people, come near to me. So the people approached him and he repaired and rebuilt the old altar of the Lord that has been torn down by Jezebel. Yet, do you see, in Ezekiel 
18, 19 to 20 says this. Yet, do you say, why should the son not bear the punishment for the father's sin? When the son has practiced justice and righteousness and has kept all my status and has done them, he shall certainly live. The person who sinned is the one that will die. The son will not bear the punishment for the sin of the father. Nor will the father bear the punishment for the sin of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be on himself. And the wickedness of the wicked shall be on himself. Righteous judge, based on the affirmation scriptures, it is clear that the spirit and altar of my father's house, if allowed to succeed, will cause great injury to my life, to my destiny, and also inflict irreparable damage to the purposes of God. I ask that every legal right, the spirit and the altar of my father's house is sold in, be revoked in Jesus' name. Righteous judge, based on the affirmation scriptures, it is also clear that I qualify for divine restraining order against the altar of my father's house and the altar that sits on it. Father, I now ask that a divine restraining order and a permanent injunction against the spirit and altar of my father's house in my life will now be issued by the authority of your Supreme Court in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I decree and I declare that any calamity or misfortune the devil is orchestrating against my life through the evil altar of my father's house is now cancelled in the name of Jesus. Father, I receive this divine restraining order and permanent injunction by faith in the name of Jesus. Because it is written in Hebrew chapter 11 verse 6 that but without faith it is impossible to please him. For whoever comes to God must believe that God exists and that he reward those who seek him. I believe and I declare by faith that the spirit and altar of my father's house in my life has been judged in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I now ask you to seal my righteous verdict against the spirit and altar of my father's house in the precious blood of Jesus. May you also cover with the blood of Jesus all my legal proceedings in this court in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that my righteous verdict of release and breakthrough from the evil altar of my father's house is now secured in the document of the court of heaven. For it is written in John's Gospel, chapter 8, verse 36, that so if the Son makes you free, then you are unquestionably free. I declare and I declare that I am free of the evil altar of my father's house in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us begin to thank the Lord because the Lord is good. The Lord is faithful. Let us thank him. Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. We worship you. We adore you, Lord, because faithful you are, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your word. Lord, we thank you. Lord, as we go about our daily business this morning, we bless your holy name, Father, because you go ahead of us. You will go behind us, O oh Lord. You will bless our going in and our going out in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you because no evil will befall us in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, will there be any power that wants to retaliate against us? Ah, 
Lord God Almighty, this morning we declare and declare that they will not succeed in the name of Jesus because your word said, No weapon formed against us shall prosper, and that every mouth that shall rise up against us in judgment we shall condemn. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare there will be no regrouping, there will be no reunion of this evil power against us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, our Lord and our God. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. God bless us as we go this morning. Have a wonderful day.